Cameroon recorded 250,000 tons of cocoa export in 2016. With the decline and varying unpredictable price mechanism of the international markets, there is the need for smallholder farmers to source for income generation by product diversification. We have a general tendency to say that the prices are so low. Presently, there are beans in the warehouse that we cannot market them because of the low prices, so we are trying to anticipate whether the prices may go up. Within this context, can cooperatives commercialize other products than cocoa beans? We have gone into transformation. We now transform some of our cocoa beans into powder and butter. It's quite a very, 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 very wonderful innovation. Soko Prokaon and Bafiafkup, cooperatives of cocoa farmers in the center and southwest regions of Cameroon, have been equipped with semi-industrial processing units for cocoa transformation into butter and powder under the project, Green Innovation Center for the Food and Agricultural Sector, Procisa. Behind me, you have the CBSC infrastructures. On my left is the processing unit. As we are talking right now, they are actually producing cocoa butter and cocoa powder. The processing unit is made up of an integrated system of equipment and compartments capable of transforming over one ton of cocoa per day. We have a screw press, which is the main machine of the factory. A roaster, a hydraulic press, a resistant oven, and a sieve. After the design and installation of the processing equipment, the beneficiary cooperatives have received capacity building by SNV on the utilization, maintenance and management of these equipment. The trainees have been empowered on different aspects including techniques of transformation, hygiene and safety, preventive and corrective maintenance, etc. It taught us hygiene in the morning and now they are teaching us how to use the machines the first course which we teach them is hygiene and safety then we teach them the semi-industrial processes and then ends with elements on maintenance the product flow in the processing area begins with the reception of a verified lot of beans from the quality lab or warehouse which are reweighed using a balance once the cocoa beans are at the factory level, we first sort the beans to remove waste, like moldy beans, the small beans which cannot give oil or pebbles. We start with the very first machine, where the work starts. A roaster that serves to roast and dry the cocoa further and simulate the butter. Now we take the already roasted cocoa beans, which we pour into the hooper of the screw press, which grind the cocoa beans. On one side, we collect the cocoa butter, and on the other side, the paste or cakes. As soon as we finish grinding our cocoa, we immediately take the bucket that has collected the cocoa butter and put it into the oven for decantation. During this period, we grind the resulting cake obtained that we collect in another clean container. On a table, we spread this powder to dry. After at least two days, we will take the powder and sieve to obtain a final product. Fine cocoa powder and liquefied cocoa butter are measured into the various packaging containers, sealed and the labels fixed on them. 
This unit produces natural powder and cocoa butter. The cacao. Farmers of Bafia are actually realizing one of their dreams, making their own chocolate from their uh, cocoa beans. And that's actually the only way they will fully enjoy their efforts in their farms by transforming their cocoa beans and they can also enjoy by eating the transformed product made out of their own beans. For sustainability, the beneficiary cooperatives have been accompanied in the establishment of a management team led by a factory coordinator who oversees the daily functioning of the processing unit. He is closely assisted by a technical coordinator who assures the maintenance of the processing equipment as well as other support staff. In the course of the project and at mid-term of the 2017 cocoa season, two semi-industrial processing units installed in Bafiafkup and Soko Prokaon, 25 persons have been trained on the transformation of cocoa, 12 jobs have been created for the processing unit, over two tons of cocoa beans transformed. <laughs> Tout est perdu. En travaillant, rappelons-nous ces mots.